Good morning, students. After we have covered the reading skill of tone and mood, today we are going to start a new unit, which is Unit 6, Current Global Issues. We are going to build some background information and activate our knowledge about certain current issues all around the world. So let us start off our tutorial by defining what are global issues. Informally, a global issue is any issue that adversely affects the global community which is the global society and the environment, such as environmental and social issues, political and economic crisis. What are some examples of global issues? Global issues could be related to food scarcity, which is the so shortage or the short supply of food, poverty, hunger, malnutrition, unemployment, global health, human rights, lack of international labor laws, climate change, clean water, refugees, females' access to education, digital access, violence, etc. Let us continue discussing what are current global issues as a starting point for this unit. A current global issue is an important subject people around the world discuss or argue about. That is because everyone is involved or affected in a way or another by these global issues. Global issues vary over time, this means they change by time, depending on the profound changes of world societies. For instance, the accelerating technological developments over the last 30 years have disrupted the, the way we work, communicate, trade, grow crops, raise animals, prepare food, etc. As a result, people's lives around the world have improved, but at a price. The following are some examples of current global issues in addition to the ones we mentioned previously. Examine the selected list of current global issues and then arrange them in the order of importance. This means from the most important to the least important. Take some time to read these current global issues and arrange them before we discuss the answers. Let's arrange them in order of importance. 1. Quality education. 2. Food safety. 3. Sanitation, which is related to hygiene and cleanliness. 4. is Healthcare. 5. Mental illness. 6. Water scarcity, which is related to water shortage or shortage in water or water supply. 7. Extreme poverty. 8. Deforestation which is a noun and means the action of clearing a wide area of trees. 9. Gender equality, which is equality between males and females. 10. Weapons of mass destruction. 11. Human migration, which is the movement of people to a new area or country in order to find work or better living conditions. And 12. Is overpopulation. We might ask ourselves, why is quality education the most important current global issue? We consider quality education extremely important because it would potentially give rise to knowledgeable consumers, producers, and citizens who practice good hygiene habits, advocate healthcare to all, including the mentally ill, consume water wisely, fight extreme poverty, protect the environment, believe in gender equality, call for a ban on weapons of mass destruction, support giving shelter, and embrace family planning. This means if we provide quality education to all people or to most people, we can easily solve the other problems because these educated citizens or people would work on improving the life quality and providing other needs that people have. Refer to your course books on page 141 to read the sentences and identify them as true or false. Take some time to do this activity before we can discuss the answers.
The statements related to depression that are true are number one, two, four, five, six, and seven. The statements that are incorrect about depression are number three, eight, and nine. Our reading lesson in the theme of current global issues will be lesson two related to depression. Depression could also be a current global issue based on the social and the economical conditions a country or an area is suffering from. For that, we're going to do before the reading to prepare ourselves for the reading text that you will read next to solve the answers related to it. Therefore, let's look at the nine sentences given in front of us related to depression and then label if these sentences are true or false. Your assignment is Unit 6, Lesson 2, pages 142-147. Kindly refer to the pages and the exercises assigned to do them. The deadline for the assignment is Friday, May 1st. For any additional readings about current global issues of different topics, kindly refer to the link given on this slide. Thank you and hope to see you soon.